all right welcome back ladies and gentlemen um so um i'm back with another video and um yeah so sorry um basically i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make um a minecraft launcher um how we're gonna do that is i'm gonna go to code and uh, i'll leave this in the description but gonna go to code and go to github cli and we're going to copy that and if you don't have github cli downloaded you should download that and we're going to come up here and i'm going to open a folder so um I have it somewhere around here. Tutorial launcher. And just a blank folder. And make sure it's just empty. And I'm just going to paste this into the command line. And we can go ahead and clone that. Um, and in here, you'll see that we have that. So I'm just going to go ahead and open a folder. We're going to go into here and then here. And now in here, uh, you should see a couple files and folders. All you want to do is npm install, and that's just going to get the node modules ready for you so that we can um, actually run this program. Um, now, this episode part one kind of is only going to be really setting up the front end of the app I might do a little bit of IPC events and just uh, showcase some of that however um, this is really mainly only like uh, the first part of it so yeah we're not doing a whole lot here in the first episode so I can split it evenly and make it more um, uh, understandable All right, and <clears throat> excuse me. That was almost no time for you. Um, and yeah. Excuse me, I'm a bit sick right now. Um, now, <laughs> so let's uh, let's basically just get a simple. Um, actually first let's open our app and make sure that everything works all right um, so all we got to do is npm run electron colon serve and this should bring us with this should meet us with a uh, simple like um, window <clears throat> and you can see it's blank um, which is good and uh, I copy and pasted this code over from a previous project, so um, that's why you may notice it says certain words um, that I need to change. However, it looks good, so... Um, Let's uh, let's start working on it. Cool. Um, so here, right, we basically just have a um, uh, a bank. This is like HTML. Uh, however, instead of class, it uses class name, and you just have to remember that. So let's uh, go ahead and make some buttons. Um, and we'll call this one, um, we'll call this, get info from API. And I, I will show you guys how to use an API in React and just show you guys some of the basics get info from API and 
another button called um, launch Minecraft and let's um, go in here and we'll call dot app and we'll make the background black with a color of white all right now we can start up our app and you can see that uh right here we have two buttons now um we actually got to make this height of 100 view height and that should take up everything um you actually don't have to close the uh the app every time changes happen uh because it will do it automatically but as you can see it now works and yeah so that's cool um we have all the features we can use everything uh now we'll learn how to use the ipc and that's easy what we gotta do is make some functions in here so we'll call this function and um we'll give it a name of call ipc and on in here give this a um i believe it's ipc render dot send uh app slash test i think now in main.js we can see over here ipc main um dot on uh app slash send um is it would it be this and then arrow function and then this right here uh, I forget the syntax of it. Uh, I think this sh should work. <coughs> Hi. Um, I think this should work. I'm not positive, so we'll see. App dot. Oh wait, this should be test. Whoopsies. Now we'll see if this works. I think it should work. However, if it doesn't, don't worry about it. And I'm also not very smart. Um, this should be a on click like this. And we're going to call IPC. Now, if you're not familiar how JSX works, um, I recommend you make some projects using React. But um, this will cover some of the basics and hopefully uh get you more familiar as you can see though it works and we can now say hi uh every time this button is clicked um so we can um make an api with it um and we can also launch minecraft with that so that covers the basics of this video i will see you guys in the next one peace out